To use with the Makey Makey, laptops are supplied within the kit. However, you're able to use any school or BYOD device that contains a USB port to connect the Makey Makey into. To turn the laptop on within the kit, click on the left hand side power button. This will take a few moments. Then, make sure that the internet is connected found in the lower right hand corner. If this is not connected, make sure that you do this before trying to log on. To log in, students will use their same username and password the same way they will log in to any other device within your school. Today, I'm logging in as teacher9068 with my password. If this is the first time the laptop's been used within your school, it may take a little while for the computer to load. Please be patient. Once the computer has loaded with the STEM T4L wallpaper, you'll see we have Google Chrome and Internet of the Edge. When using the Makey Makey for the first time, you may want to connect the device to the computer and use the device as a game controller for a game that the students are already using in class. The game just needs to rely on using the arrow buttons, the space bar and the click. There are also plug and play options that have already been coded for the Makey Makey to use. These are found on the Makey Makey Labs website. For example, today we've loaded the apps for plug and play and we're going to scroll down to the piano. I'm going to click here to play and I'm going to hover my mouse over the click to make sure that I can use this as one of my keys. In front of me, I have the Makey Makey all set up and I'm going to hold the earth, making sure to connect to the metal on the alligator clip. This will complete our circuit. My first button is the pencil drawing I did with a 4B pencil. My next, a fork, some alfoil, a banana, a knife, and a metal tray. All things that I can find around the classroom. If I was an amazing pianist, I could play a song. But I'm not quite up to Mary Had a Little Lamb yet. Now don't forget that you're not limited to just using your hands. We can put these big trays on the floor, take a shoe off, leaving our sock on, and use our feet as the game controllers. They work just as well as hands and can even be more fun and interactive. Now, whatever you do and whatever you're using, please make sure that you stay safe. To extend the students and bring coding into our lesson, we can watch the next video utilising Tinker. This video is part of a series of support videos all about the kit that you have borrowed. To find the other videos in this series, head to the Learning Library and visit the kit page for the equipment you've borrowed. You can also find the full list of support videos for all of our kit on the YouTube channel. You can also join us in the Yammer community. If you have any questions or you'd like to ask teachers how they've used the equipment in their classroom, then why not join us on the STEM T4L Facebook community? It's a closed group. You can ask teachers how they've used the equipment and also share the work samples that your students have created.